Hey guys, welcome back to Flying in Space with Planet Head. Um, gonna be able to get out today and do a little bit of active gameplay <laughs> for once. <laughs> no, hopefully, nobody's in system right now. Um, I did want to give an update as far as uh, I think a couple episodes ago, I fitted out my first. Um, uh, I do this all the time. Uh, my first mauler with a scavenger fit, uh, basically anything that I had available to me. And actually, I, I did take a snip of that. It was actually very important for me to do so because I wanted to save that snip of the fit that I had. This was all junk material that I had lying around available to me with very low statistics. Um, on uh, being able to fly a cruiser, I'd just gotten cruiser level one. I think I had like cruiser, uh, I'm sorry, Amar cruiser level one or two and hybrid uh, laser weapons one or two. Um, and I used whatever I had lying around as far as medium guns and medium crystals. I had one um, uh, thermal, um, what should we call it? <laughs> damage control, some armor protection, and some armor repairing. I was able to throw on over here a uh, capacitor. Long story short, um, came down the big numbers I look for are uh, the bonuses to the ship are uh, gun damage in general and armor, uh, armor damage um, in general. And what I was looking for there was my uh, armor uh, defense for both EM and thermal because out here in stain I am blowing up things um, that have armor and thermal damage that they're dealing um, the other one too was started off with 163.7 DPS not a huge amount but uh, as good as the destroyers that I was flying the coercers again junk fit those were as well and then if everything was running here my capacitor would be at a, a minute and basically a minute and 50 seconds so uh it's been a couple days did a couple videos since then thought i'd revisit it and um show you where it's at i still love the look of this ship it is just it's just a mean looking ship i don't know if it's a great ship to fly overall but i like flying it it's easy it's an easy ship to fly you blow things up you throw some drones out there to take care of the little guys and it's got its own defense with its armor. So um, I'll show you the fit real quick that I have. This is still a scavenger fit, but things I've been able to upgrade since I've been able to kill some things out here. Um, I don't think I've actually built anything to go onto this ship. Um, but you know, pull up fit for it here. And... Where was my picture there? So there's my picture. Not getting any smaller. There we go. So obviously some major changes to it. Um, instead of going with the multispectral, and I think that was X-ray. I'm not sure. I ended up having five um, gamma M um, uh, crystals. I was also able to f accumulate five uh, heavy anode particle stream one guns which is a meta three level gun um and then i was also able to get a second heat sink and i actually switched out if you notice here i switched out my capacitor size with my uh, a capacitor and a capacitor relay or something like that that increased my charge to two medium level compact uh capacitors going pretty good here with my fits um, as far as power grids, uh, this may come into play once I get rigs onto here because a lot of times your rigs affect either your capacitor or your power grid. I think it'll probably end up affecting my power grid, seeing as how that's how the gun upgrades affected um, my coercer that I was flying. So I'm assuming that is it. I haven't checked into it because I haven't had access to buying any rigs yet um, or any rig blueprints. But I was able to do some relic sites, so once I get those blueprints, I'll be able to start on that. But some major changes as far as um, how much damage this does and how much um, 
capacitor space it's got. And I'll just show you here. So um, just pull this down here. And don't worry, I'm gonna not, not going to spend too much time on this. I'm going to go out, hopefully blow something up, and come back and talk about capacitors a little bit in basic layman's terms. But if you notice, not a huge amount of changes, but I was also able to skill my um, laser uh, medium laser gun skill up to level 5 and my uh, cruiser on our cruiser level 5 or oh, I'm sorry up to level 3 of both um, still got level 4 and level 5 to go on those um, but just to show you the difference here so maybe I can expand this a little bit more there we go I'll move this over I don't need it all the way in there so I can make it maybe readable in the video so some major changes just by fitting and skilling up a little bit more. If you notice here, a massive jump in DPS. I've gone from uh, 200, I'm sorry, 164 to 221 rounded up um, DPS. So that is a gain of about 56 DPS damage per second, which is a huge amount. Um, that doesn't factor in yet. Um, upgrades in skill to level four and level five of both cruiser and uh, gunnery it doesn't affect going to affect me i'm going to be level five in drones which then i can do drone interaction which will upgrade that damage so really a lot more growth but i was able to with the original fit be able to ping down and kill battleships out here um, now i can take out battleships without even worrying about it too much I've also been able to increase my uh, damage protection. My EM has gone up to 75, and my thermal from 72. My thermal's gone from 64 to 67 because of my cruiser upgrade. And this is kind of the big one because your capacitor is actually very important for MR ships. I went with um, another uh, cap battery, um, and I might be wrong with this, but if you notice here, my uh, depletes in area up here was at 149 it's now up to 220 if I have all the modules running at once um, why because I've got a little bit larger capacitor and and this is where I might be off on this but I think I'm correct I know that there's a piece of equipment out there that will increase your capacitor recharge rate but the irony is that depending on the size of your capacitor it will also affect your recharge rate. And um, I'd like to get into that whenever I, after I go blow stuff up if I have time. If not, I'll do another video on it. I might do a full one on that because there's other things that can affect that, like micro warp drives, things like that. Um, but, uh, so let's say I turn this off. Boop. Um, now I'm down to 137, okay? Um, so just having that extra capacitor on there gets me another 40 seconds, 43 seconds. Um, and then if you look here, capacitor recharge rate and capacitor capacity. So your recharge rate, rate my recharge rate now, right now is 395, uh, so 395 um, per second. If I add on the capacitor here, oh, it doesn't change. Oh, so it's different from your shields. Never mind then. I'm wrong. <laughs> it's just the fact that I have a larger capacitor. Okay. So there's the balance. Do you have a better recharge rate but a smaller capacitor? Or do you go with a larger capacitor that um, has more width of it? So, um, And maybe you do both. But with only three slots, you've only got that going on. Last but not least, I might as well throw this in here. Maybe I'll do a longer video on it. I think I did one a long while ago about this. The afterburner. Now, I like afterburners when I'm ratting because I'm able to increase my transversal and it doesn't increase the size of my ship while I have it on. Um, but one other thing, if I remember correctly, and let's just scroll down here, we'll do a medium slot type filter. And notice here I've got the um, 50 mn cold gas. So one thing that a lot of people I'm going to pull this off real quick just so I can compare both. And I'm going to put this micro warp drive. Oh, shush. 
There we go. Now, obviously, there's not enough power to run this right now because I've got the afterburner on here. But I wanted to show you something. And if I, I'm just trying to remember, I didn't actually do this before the video, but I'm remembering it. Um, if you notice, my capacitor um, size here is 2501. Now, if I turn off my afterburner, that does not change. But if I turn on my micro warp drive, oh, shush. How much do I need here? I need 150. I need 149.5. Fine. Uh, let's turn this one off. Did not change here. If I remember correctly, when I, when you fit a micro warp drive onto your ship, it does the obvious negatives of increasing your ship size. Um, but the second part is, I think, yeah, if you notice here, it lowers your capacitor size. Um, so I'm at two. 2501 right now, if I throw on a micro warp drive, it actually drops by basically over 20%, um, which is a huge amount. Um, so my, my capacitor size went from um, 2500 to 1875. Whereas if I don't have the micro warp drive on there, and I put the afterburner on her, it does not change. It's a big difference, especially for Amarian ships in my mind, because they use their capacitor to fire up their beam lasers. So that's another reason why I usually try not to go with, if I'm using a beam laser -y ship, um, I don't want to go with a micro warp drive except for really strange or specific things. Um, let's get this cap. Back on here. So if that helps you guys, I hope so. Um, I'm going to go out and blow something up because I can. And I'll show you I'll, that how I'm able to actually tank better. I think I did it with the coercer where I was doing um, uh, closing sp space on the actual ships because I couldn't take the damage. Now I can take some damage. Um, let's go to a asteroid belt here, and hopefully there's a battleship there. The other nice thing is, um, killing cruisers out here, I don't mind now, because I'm able to get parts that I can use for my mauler. And, um, down the road, if I build a battleship, or, I'm sorry, a battle cruiser, I could do the same thing. Um, but I'm going to be focused on, uh, cruisers for quite a while. It's always that next thing, isn't it? Um... I should be just happy to be able to fly cruisers right now at a decent pace, and I'm already thinking about battle cruisers and battleships. Um, I got a ton of blueprints in here that I can mess around with. <clears throat> so, it's just such a cool looking ship. So, um, these are uh, destroyers and battle cruisers. I actually want to fight. This would actually be a good fight, um, but I'm actually looking for a battleship. Um, just to show you that I can ping it down fairly quickly. Um, there are some of them that you want to be careful of. Uh, the loyal Sanchez, uh, their defenses are a lot higher. That Those took me a while. I've also been working on my tracking. That might be a video down the road. <laughs> of course, more battle cruisers and destroyers. I like fighting these guys, but I don't want to show them to you. Um, it's kind of boring. The nice part, too, um, is while I was riding with the Coercer, it's a great backup ship um, that I can always fall back on if I need it. Um, with this one, I can, with the medium guns and the, the three drones here, can go off and take care of the small ships while I focus on going after the big boys. And then once the little drones are done killing, some, killing the little guys, they can come over and um, supplement supplement the damage that I'm doing. Doo, doo, doo. And ironically, the ones that I had the problems with the most with the coercers were the battle cruisers and cruiser setups uh, uh, rats that I had to kill because those are the ones that could actually hit me a lot easier. Of course, nobody here. Fine. I'm going to try something else here. We're going to go to the last one here. You know what? I haven't even looked at I knew that there weren't any anomalies, or I'd be out scanning some systems right now, and I wouldn't be making a video. Um, but there's some drones here. A 
small Arcanor. A lot of ore going on here. No actual, um, other than the drones, no Sanchez. Okay. So we got um, three battleships. Perfect. Let's timestamp here. 312. 312. So let's get my afterburner on. I want to close the range here. We'll put my acolytes out. I'll try to take out these little cruisers quick. Make sure they're going after, I'm sorry, the little frigates. And then we'll target the other battleships. And We'll go after the Lord first. It is the weakest of all of the battleships. That are, oh, that's a Plague Lord. Dread Lord and a Tyrant. So which one is the weakest here? I'm going to throw my charger on here. Show info. Is that 110? I always say which one's the weakest by the bounty that's offered. Okay. So this is a, the Plague Lord is the weakest out of them. Drone's already killed one of those guys. I really wasn't paying too much attention. It's kind of nice. I don't have to kill myself with that. So I got the Plague Lord going on here. My range with these um, Gammas is 27 and 18. It's not, they don't do as much damage as the Multispectrals, but they give me a little bit more range, and um, they don't use as much capacitor, which helps. So let's go ahead and start pinging this guy down here. I'm doing 364, 317. And we started at 312. I will tell you the uh, tyrant. Whoops, we want to make sure our drones are helping us on the one we're shooting at. They're not going to do a huge amount of damage, but number one, they are knocking away those gnats. And they are a nice little bonus on top of the uh, guns that I'm firing. I should not have been that close. Um, it's always good to pull farther out when you're trying to do damage. Um, the biggest thing with killing off these rats, I'll just show you here, is they do have damage protection for their shields and armor, but once you get right through them, the structure... Uh, goes away. There is no structure um, strength or damage protection. So, um, long story short, the shields will repair themselves very slowly. Most of the battleships have some sort of armor repair. Um, you'll see that here in a second. We're at 87%, 85. Um, and then, once we get into structure, they pretty much boop away. Um, But, yep, there was a repair there. The other thing I tried to do is keep myself within range. Now the optimal range is 18. Good, good, good. Now some things that, a um, lot of growth that I can do. I haven't upgraded many of my drone skills. I've noticed a lot of my drones aren't doing the most damage that they could. Um, I focus a lot more on um, not total damage that I'm doing, but um, quality of damage. Um, if you notice um, the, the different amounts here, the glances off versus the penetrates and the stam smashes, two different types. That is something that I did not focus on at all when I used to play. Um, it was all about, oh, there's a big number in front of me. Well, that big number can really be affected by A, whether or not you can hit something, and B, how well you hit that thing. So that is something that I've tried to really focus on a lot. Oh. Somebody said hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um... He actually just asked me, uh, one of the guys in the um, Five Bones chat, how I'm doing. Uh, that is another thing. I wanted to do a video earlier today, or at least Playboy. I'm going to be blunt. I am not feeling that great today. 
Um, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Um, went over to Buddy's house, watched the uh, Stanley Cup uh, finals. Um, didn't really care about who won, but saw the, uh, I guess it was uh, the Avalanche won. Congratulations. Um, all good. Uh, but uh, long story short, he gave me a drink of something uh, that had some, you don't need to know this, but some tequila in it. I don't drink a lot of alcohol anymore. I used to bounce um, at a at a bar I used to know and uh, was frequent there or not. And I, I only, there was very little tequila. It just messed my brain. I just don't know why I do that. It's just not good. I wasn't even tipsy. It just, uh, there's something about that thing. Maybe I'm allergic to it or something. I just woke up today not feeling that great. It's taken me a couple hours. I had a lot of things I want to get done today. Maybe that's why I don't drink that much anymore. Uh. <laughs> um, yeah, I just laughed out loud and then typed into it. He just said, uh, I, I let him know that I was making a video. And he said, I thought I heard you were making too many of them. Yeah, I'm just having fun. Um, but long story short, um, yeah, so I, I just wasn't up to doing much today. Boy, this is, this guy is surviving. He is fighting. We're at six minutes of this battle. Um, so let's see here. I'm hitting him. Let's look at the damage that I'm doing. Um, so go into utilities. Always keep an eye on your local logs and messages. And what I'm looking here is to see how much damage I'm doing with my gun. So there's a uh, glances off and a hits. Sometimes you don't want to go by the um, amount of damage that's done because you could be you're going to do more damage depending on if you're going at. Um, finally got him um shields armor or your structure so you may show more damage um but it's more important to me as to the type of damage that i'm doing um okay so we're going to ping the second guy down i want to see if i can kill all three of these guys within uh 20 minutes i think i can do it they're pretty all pretty strong they're all uh middle tier to upper tier uh battleships um, oops, need to turn that off. Got to keep an eye on my capacitor over here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is, um, now that I'm uh, circling them, I'm going to shut my afterburner off to try to increase my capacitor a little bit. And what I can also start doing is, I think there's a meta level 4 gun that I can get a hold of. I can uh, look at skills to increase my capacitor. Um, I can maybe try on the multi-spectrals, so those do a little bit more damage. I can upgrade the uh, drone damage that I do. Um, boy, that tyrant's getting far out there. That might that might slow me down. Maybe I want a micro warp drive. Nope, don't. Um, although, see, here's the other trick. See, the big thing there is, I'm glad I showed that capacitor difference earlier because sometimes you might think well hey if you're able to close the range um, with the micro warp drive and then circle then and not get hit hardly at all then wouldn't it be better to just have the micro warp drive well the capacitor um, limitation that it does that I showed earlier is always happening so it's not just while that micro warp drive is on. So while you turn your micro warp drive off to um, lower your um, signature radius, um, because when the micro warp drive is on, it increases it by five times. If you turn it off, then uh, the ooh, okay, fine. I'll turn my armor repair on here. Wait, yeah, my button be. Let's get my afterburner cone too. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's take care of this problem a little bit. It might be the fact that this tyrant has moved farther out and is pinging me from a larger distance away. I'm not 100% sure. 
but we'll just get ourselves out of harm's way here for a second. Hopefully we can kill off this Dreadlord fairly quickly. Um, the Dreadlord is actually worth a decent amount of ISK. It's worth 1.7 billion or a million um, with the bonus over here of 151. So we're talking probably 2.5 million. Um, what I think I would like to do going forward, even though I won't have the uh, startup of having low skills in whatever gun I'm firing or a uh, ship, what I'd like to do is do two videos for each. Oh, I'm about to lose my capacitor. Shut that one off too. Now I'm not even shooting him. I was not paying attention. I'm talking too much. Let's get the guns going again. Let's finish this guy off, hopefully. Um, long story short, what was I talking about there? What I'd like to do is do a base model ship and then a, of scavenged parts of whatever I have lying around and then use that original fit to then learn from and upgrade and do a second video and then way down the road um, do a final video setup of uh, what I can buy on the market or um, some really high-end, not super high-end stuff, but really the maxed out versions. I'm going to lose my capacitor here again, aren't I? I am. Oh, fine. <laughs> um, long story short, uh, I can then uh, focus on, have a third video of a really top-end, possibly um, top-end mauler. They might be wondering, why am I using the guns here versus trying to repair myself. I'm just trying to finish this guy off so I can then, during the time that I'm traveling to the Tyrant, I can get my capacitor to build back up. I'm just kind of taking a shot here. But then he's repairing his armor. Dummy, stop repairing your armor. I'm getting sick of it. Come on. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, next. Now I'm going to come in at a long range here. Just throw all my afterburner. Hopefully he does not hit me that much. My drones are not going after him because I'm so far away. I'm going to shut the afterburner off. Just to try to get my capacitor up and going and get this armor repair up and running. Now obviously... Um, if I were doing a bigger battleship, boy, he is getting in on me in here, isn't he? Can I target him yet? Yep, I can. Just need to get in close. There's a he's hitting me. I'm wondering if it's because I'm going in the same kind of direction that he's going. I'm going to turn left here and go at an opposite direction. And I'm going to throw the afterburner on. Look at that. He has got me down to 67. He's going to start missing me soon. Okay, there's a miss. I'm taking a chance here. I, this is one of those where it's kind of good. Oh, he's got me at 66, but I've got my armor back up here. Well, almost. Boy, that was a 105. All right, guys, go get him. There's a miss. There's another miss. Another miss. Alrighty. Feeling a little bit better about this. Notice I got a little bit quiet there. I didn't want to lose my ship out of stupidity, but I would have. Um, starting to ping down. 
take some shots at him. I'm going to get my armor all the way up and then turn that off. Looks like he is uh, missing me long term now. Um, so I've got my speed going on right now. Obviously, I could do this a lot better. I was talking too much. Um, but as you can tell what's going on here, um, I'm feeling a little bit better. Now the question is, can I turn my afterburner off? and still not get hit. Notice my shields are going up. That's a big indicator that he's missing me because the shields are actually going up. So I'm going to shut the afterburner off after this rotation or this uh, cycle. And then I'm going to start firing the guns. Boop. Now I think just firing the guns, I will actually... Um, I have, I will actually gain capacitor on that. And this is, this is just one of those where it's, like I said, I like to test fly things. I will have my, as I learn, get better and better fits. Um, and I'll fly those. You're going to, when I do videos, I like to do them like this, where you can learn how, from me. So maybe you don't have to do them. Or if you want to try out this sort of thing. Um, and then as I learn more, I'll maybe have better and better ships. Uh, that I can do real stuff with. Um, cool. So we are into his armor now. This guy was the toughest out of the three. I know I can kill him. The question is, how fast can I kill him? Final death amount. Um, we're looking at about 2.7 million. So the question is, I think I started at 312. Um, can I kill him in three minutes? Get it under 20 minutes? I don't think so. I had that range to catch up on him. Um, I was also talking too much, so I let my capacitor go. I wasn't paying attention to that. Uh, you can do things like put in cap boosters. I haven't done that yet. I'm just doing a basic type of uh, thing. That is something I could definitely do. Um, <clears throat> so if you're wondering about that, um, just uh, in general, going with the basic type. Oh, shoot. Well, a Dreadlord did pop in, so it recycled for that. So I might not be able to finish this off. Um, yeah, because he'll start shooting at me. He's 13 kilometers away. It'll be a nice payday for me, but pretty boring for you because I'll be circling the next guy. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to sit here and keep pinging away at these guys. Um, kill them off and get my isk. Um, but that's about it for me for this video. I think it'd be pretty boring for you to watch the rest of it. You saw me being stupid there for a little while. Um, appreciate it. Uh, I am going to get this done and then go and now that I got my head about me, go get some stuff done around the house, um, and get some lawn work done and stuff like that. Um, and maybe catch up on Westworld tonight. I think it came out, so I'm going to go watch that. So I'll be on later on, you guys. Fly safe, fly dangerously, fly high if you want, and have a great day. Bye-bye.